Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I'm Joshua, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and really anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offerings. Content for the Blood God. <clears throat> On with the show. Tonight we have SCP-294, The Coffee Machine. It's an SCP animation by The Rubber. Um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, this guy is good. Uh, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and check him out. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent oh. Joseph, be he requested for a cup of joe from 294. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. Hello everybody, I'm the Rubber. Today, we bring you a SCP Foundation Euclid class object, SCP-294. SCP-294, also known as a standard coffee vending machine, is a coffee vending machine that can produce any beverage through keyboard in- So if you would like to know the full, um, capabilities of this particular coffee machine i recommend you go over to the scp wiki and find out for yourself um east side um uh east side uh was it um east side scp uh the one that uh, that was on the ships he has an extensive uh reading of this one uh and uh, i think somebody else does but i think uh, east side steve has the best um like a long reading for this so beyond uh, going to the wiki which i still recommend because there are even logs that like it, it they're extensive logs uh, for for this particular item um and if you're a lore nerd like i am then you will enjoy it but uh yeah let's continue but its entry keyboard is corresponding to an english qwerty keyboard Upon depositing 50 cents U.S. currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid <coughs> using the keyboard. After doing so, a standard 12-ounce paper drinking cup is placed, and the liquid indicated is poured into the cup. The Foundation has conducted 97 tests, including requests for water, coffee, beer, and soda, non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and motor oil as well as substances that do not usually exist in liquid state, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass, and each one returned a success. It is also interesting to note that many caustic liquids that would have corroded a normal paper cup seem to have no effect on the cups dispensed by the machine. That's However, cool. test runs with solid materials, such as diamond, have failed. This shows that SCP-294 can only deliver substances that can exist in liquid state. It is of note that after approximately 50 uses, the machine would not respond to further requests. After a period of approximately 90 minutes, the machine seemed to have restocked itself. 294 was originally placed in the Foundation's personnel break room because it is almost harmless to human beings and it's also a money-saving venture. However... Yeah, so it, it, it actually functions like a regular vending machine. As long as you don't ask for weird things or or do th or ask for things in when it's in a weird state, then you're okay. And it's just a normal vending machine produces good food too. After the two nine four zero one accident, two guards of security clearance level three no, were it, arranged. No, it, it, it no, it produces food. I think to guard two nine four at all times. Since then, anyone who wants to get contact with it needs to obtain security permission first. So, what happened during the 29401 incident? The incident happened on August 21st, 2005. Agent Joseph attempted to use 294 to obtain coffee during his allotted break time at 9.30 a.m. At the request of another agent to see what it would do, Agent Joseph requested for a cup of joe from 294. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. After moving the unconscious agent to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup dispensed by SCP-294. They found a combination of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids Ew. in the liquid. Testing revealed the DNA sequence of the biological material dispensed by SCP-294 matched that of Agent Joseph. Luckily, Agent Joseph made a complete recovery after four weeks of rest and intravenous hydration. X-rays and CAT scans showed no further signs of injury. 
and he was released. After reviewing documentation on 294, the Foundation started testing 294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. To test the range of 294's capacity for retrieval, researchers formulated a unique compound composed of undisclosed ratios of bleach, cola, MET-RX powder, and garum masala. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from 294. When the request for this liquid was made, an equal amount of the liquid that had existed in the sealed container had disappeared without any reason. Oh, that's cool. In another test, it has now been confirmed that 294 has the ability to directly gather information from someone's mind in order to comply with the given conditions. Under observation of Level 4 personnel, an agent keyed in a request of the best drink I've ever had. 294 delivered a dark fluid topped with white foam, which was later identified as Vienna Lager. What is it with the cup was doors? printed with a color picture of five men and two women drinking beer on the beach, and the agent who requested for this drink was one of them. In his briefing, he confirmed that his favorite drink ever was a Vienna Lager he consumed at the beach with his friends. According to another test, 294 That's was cool. proved to be able to produce abstract concepts or sentences, and it also can make the subjects feel the experience. Researcher keyed in request for a cup of music. SCP-294 produced a clear, sparkling fluid that tasted vaguely alcoholic. <laughs> Following ingestion, subject reported feeling and not hearing a continuous rhythm and demonstrated the ability to move and even dance with a certain fluidity that he had not previously shown. In one of the other tests, a professor requested My Life Story from 294. 294 began to shake violently, like a tornado, and made humming noises violently for approximately three minutes mm -hmm. before providing a highly viscous, opaque black liquid. Upon consumption, the professor reported that he remembered everything that had ever happened to him. Following this test, the professor this entered cool his office too. and returned 48 hours later with a 538-page autobiography. According to an addendum, a D-class personnel with IQ of 99 and low curiosity scores was given written instructions about what to request. The mm -hmm. D-class personnel produced a request for blood of Canis lupus and received wow. a cup of liquid subsequently identified as wolf blood. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for saliva of Equus ferris cabalis and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as horse saliva. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for urine of Phascolarctus cinereus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as koala urine. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for cerebrospinal fluid of Phoberomus pattersoni and received That's a not cup of cool. liquid currently undergoing analysis. It is to be noted that Phoberomus pattersoni went extinct during the late Miocene epoch, approximately 8 million years ago. Other SCP-294 tests would get that from? Where would the machine get that from then? For approval. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet piece of fan arts. A big thanks to Noah and Jason Young. You can now send us your fan art, and yeah, we will be more cool. than happy to show off... So... Um, the, the vending machine has, uh, more extensive things, I think. Uh, oh yeah, no, this is just the coffee machine. Okay. There's a vending machine. It's a multi-dimensional vending machine, I think. Uh, that's, that's even cooler than the coffee machine. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, SCP-294, the coffee machine by the rubber. Uh, like I said, go over and check out his good stuff. He's really good. Um, let me know what you thought in the, uh, in the comments, like subscribe and share, be safe, be happy, be healthy. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.